This morning, we had the opportunity to speak to the governor of Puerto Rico and ask him some very direct questions about how he and his government here are responding to this crisis. If you want to take a look at this video, this is my group uh, that I traveled here with in a small room with the governor. The group includes uh, baseball star Kurt Schilling. Many of you may recognize him there. He actually helped fund uh, this particular group and the 1.5 million pounds of cargo of medicine and water and food and things that they are trying to distribute here on the island. We arrived here yesterday, uh, just after 9.30, and ever since then, it has been uh, red tape and meetings and conversations and questions and forms, and we have not been able uh, to get out on the street yet. And you can as you can imagine, uh, it's getting very, very frustrating. People in Central Florida have parents who have cancer, dialysis, they need insulin, pregnant women. What is your message to people who live in the inland areas, okay, in regions that you haven't been to yet, who, have. who have medical conditions? You have been to every region, every neighborhood? I, I haven't been to every neighborhood, obviously, but I, we have been establishing contact. We have 33 uh, uh, hospitals already out of the 69 that are powered. We put them into the, the logistical center. Those hospitals that had uh, major ca catastrophic uh, effects, we are shifting those patients to other of the hospitals. So know that within the past uh, 48 hours, we've increased our capability from uh, seven hospitals to 33 hospitals. That's about half of the hospitals in Puerto Rico. We have 40 centers of dialysis that are working right now and that are in our priority loop for diesel as well. So we're making every effort, although I know that telecoms is not working, we're having runners. We're having DMAT teams. So after our, our interview with the governor, he uh, took off and uh, we actually are here waiting. Our group is now in there uh, with some of the governor's uh, top people and they're coming up with a plan, uh, with logistics and, uh, and a plan to see if we can finally uh, get out on the road and start visiting places and, and, so, and get these supplies moving and really start helping. So we're going to continue to, to stay on this journey and we'll have much more of my full interview with the governor of Puerto Rico on our website WFTV.com and on my Facebook page. Reporting in San Juan, Nancy Alvarez, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.